everybody, hey, this is uh, Coach Potter with Shoot Right. I'm sitting here. We're going to be talking to Eddie. We're going to be uh, looking at uh, outdoor experience and Wounded Warrior Outdoors. Remember, it's Wounded Warrior Outdoors, not Wounded Warrior Project. Wounded Warrior Outdoors is the good group that is pro us. <laughs> you can hear I got an attitude about it. But yes, these guys are the good guys and uh, also uh, outdoor experience. Okay, we're gonna come up and we're gonna talk to Eddie. He's gonna explain everything on what these guys are all about and what they're doing. How you doing? Uh, thanks, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. My name is Eddie Corona. I am the president founder, co-founder of Outdoor Experience for All and Arizona ambassador for Wounded Warrior Outdoors. Outdoor Experience for All, we take children who've been diagnosed with a life running illness, children with prosthetics and disabilities, and children are fallen heroes into the outdoors. Whether it's hunting, camping, fishing, boating, hiking, or horseback riding, whatever they desire to do. Uh, we also do a lot of hunting with these kids in, in Arizona. It's called the Benevolent Transfer Clause. So if you get drawn and uh, you can't go on your hunt, you can donate your permit to us and we can take them out on your behalf. Wonder War Outdoors, we work directly with the Pentagon, the three uh, military trauma hospitals, Walter, Eva, Boer, and Brooke. And we take them directly out of the hospital beds and into the field. Uh, obviously, we've had a lot of our disabled uh, heroes go through that stuff but now since things overseas have calmed down we've now included and expanded to uh, veterans who are also uh, disabled in a different form whether it's whether it's a PTSD or, or a, a physical or internal or uh, external disability all those are included in our program now uh, here we have one of the apparatuses we use this is just my photo claw or my photo uh, a tripod we put the, the pistol grip up here, and this is a claw. This is a claw. Triclops is actually built by a guy here in town named uh, Kate Smith. He's a dentist, and we use this. We put, we're able to put the, the form of a gun right here, a firearm, and then we can help our hunter point in the right direction, and they can pull the trigger. Because we use a heavier set uh, a tripod, when that recoil happens, this takes a lot of the recoil off the shoulder of the, of the individual. Over here is another apparatus. First of all, I'm gonna, I use the, the extension cord here as weight. As you can tell, this part, this metal plate is where somebody will use it underneath their seat. The wheelchair, they'll sit underneath it. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna cover that up, pretend like that's a seat. <laughs> I got you. So over here, we make the adjustment of the height. This one, we can turn it either way, either face away or forward. Over here, this will go to a 12 volt battery, little car battery, little motorcycle okay. battery. And then over here, you fine tune everything here. Okay? And then you operate it with this. Okay. So the butt of the gun is right here, the forearm of the gun is right here. We strap it down. So the person is able to make real small adjustments based on how we tune it up. Okay? Okay. And now we also have what's called a puffer uh, attached to the trigger where they suck on a blue straw and it pulls the trigger, fires the firearm. This, from adaptive equipment, will go up, take the recoil, and bring it right back down to where you had it. Nice. Okay, so it's a pretty cool, slick operation, and uh, obviously we put it underneath the wheelchair, and that's the way this one works. Very nice. Uh, they make a lot of great equipment over there, and that's the adaptive equipment out of uh, Illinois. Okay. Uh, now, would this be their information right here? Yeah. That, that's, that's the, that'd be their information right there. They make a ton of stuff, you know? So uh, I, I, I talk to them a lot. I, I ask them a lot of stuff on what's going on there. Uh, I was having issues with a crossbow because the crossbow is about nine to 10 pounds uh, pull on the trigger. Mm -hmm. And they actually showed me how to adjust it for the crossbow so that way it can hit better and now we can pull the trigger on the crossbow. Um, so anyway, so that's the good stuff like that. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it, man. Thank you so much for a uh, great opportunity uh, doing what I do. I can't do it without all of our volunteers, our sponsors, our donors, everybody who supports us. I, I, I may be the guy, you know, out in the front, but can't do it alone. So right. Thank you to everybody for making it uh, making it possible for all of us to have this type of organization. Right. God bless. Yes. All right, everybody. So this that's the cool thing. Listen to Eddie. I I've I've, 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 I've met him some years ago. And, um, and what he's done in this program is phenomenal. I, I remember when they were talking about this thing and then how, how it's come and grown. And uh, this, this is actually a great program. Me being a veteran is very encouraging. Me being disabled and I can't get out and get around. I mean, you guys have all seen my picture of my cart. And so uh, 
that's the kind of stuff they're, they're, they're out there helping us and also the community itself and also helping our, our, our hunting uh, retention out there and recruiting. Because now it's bringing another avenue for uh, someone that may think they may not be able to hunt anymore at all. And they are now open the doors that they can actually go out and do this again and enjoy something. So, and, and, that, and that's a great feeling for someone to be able to know they have something out there, especially that might be suffering from PTSD or some kind of a mental uh, thing or, or physical. There's all kinds of different ways to heal and being in the outdoors, that fresh air and possibly even going out hunting is, 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 is great healing for us to be able to be out there. Besides us getting to know more people and being out the guys sharing thing, uh, stories out there. As, uh, stories are always good to uh, be healing. <laughs> so again, this is Coach Potter with Shoot Right. You have a good day.